And, and Mr. Rastetter, when it gets to the legislature, uh, does that tuition freeze depend at all on the legislators' agreement to also change the funding formula that Dean just described? Well, that, that's an important part of it. I mean, it's, it's been clear for a number of years. Uh, the regions had not addressed their funding model for over 70 years. Uh, we think that was far too long. There's important aspects of the funding model that make it open and transparent that match the board's goals, the university's goals with state funding. Issues like accessibility, affordability, graduation rates, time to a degree to help lower that student debt number, and in particular the University of Northern Iowa's financial budget has always been challenged. And so this establishes clear goals and also establishes a way by legislatures will know how we're allocating our dollars. Ms. Mulholland, some legislative leaders have said, well, why should we agree to a formula where there are winners and losers? And obviously there are some winners and losers here with um, University of Iowa um, being on the loser end of this new formula. Uh, why, why should legislators, if they're reluctant to uh, feel like they're not picking favorites? Well, I think the purpose behind the whole formula is to give some stability to when we go for appropriations so that we can say exactly where the money is going and that it's going to Iowa students. In, in adjusting it, we know that the old formula that Bruce mentioned earlier was 46%, 36%, and 18% to Iowa, um, Iowa State and UNI respectively. And that doesn't reflect the current enrollment of Iowa students. And constitutionally, the um, Regents Universities are to support Iowa residents first. And, and the reality of, of what we're doing also, Kathy, is that we've asked the legislature to backfill the University of Iowa with the $12.9 million. So there aren't any winners and losers. Uh, the reality is we have clear funding goals and then we've also asked for that backfill. And we're confident that, that we will be successful at that.